All right, so I'm not going to hold you on here for too, too long, though, guys. So the first thing that I kind of wanted to dive into is that um, I checked out this video from Jerry Norton, right? And he was talking about it was like two different ways that you can scale your business to a million dollars. So I wanted to show you all this little clip from the video, and you should definitely check out the full video. I have that linked down below as well. But let's dive into this little clip. Well, here's the formula that I try to share with people, and there's a million ways to get there. But the way to get to a million dollars a year, if someone's listening right now and they're like, I'd love to make a million dollars a year. Here's the, the best but just to me, the break fastest it down. way. A million dollars a year in net income net. to you. So net profit. we're talking about net profit to you, the investor. Yes. Jerry's specifically discussing $1 million. Small team, low overhead, high margin. Great. Here's how you do it. Okay. You have to do a combination of some fix and flip, not a lot, but some, and some wholesaling. So here's the way I look at it. In wholesaling, you're gonna do lead gen, right? You're gonna be, you're gonna be marketing for leads. You're gonna get some leads. Some of those are home runs. And what most wholesalers do is they pass that home run deal off to somebody else, they make the lion's share of the profit and you made your 10 or 20 grand wholesaling. Right. What I say is I say, you keep that home run. You need one a month, a fix and flip. That makes, let's say $62,000. Wow. And you do one a month, that's 750. Not 10 a month, not I got this massive operation fixing and flipping. No, one a month, so but it's a home run. One home run. So when we're describing the home run as a $60,000 profit. Yes, let's, let's identify it as a $60,000 yeah, profit. Okay, so we're getting to $720,000 of net numbers. If you do one a month That's a home for run. 12 months as a home run, as Jerry's described. Not a 20,000 fix and flip or a 40,000, a 60, 80, somewhere in there. You okay. got to get up. They got to be the home yeah. run deal. Well, naturally what's gonna happen while you're trying to get that home run deal is you're gonna get a bunch of singles, doubles, and triples. Wholesale those. So then, because they're naturally coming in because you're marketing for that good deal. Keep sure. the home run deal, don't wholesale that one. Fix and flip that one, make the 60. Then do two more a month on the ones that you don't want that aren't home runs, the singles, doubles, and triples. Wholesale those for $10,000 or whatever. And now you've done, and, and do two or three of those a month now you're at you're at a million dollars million dollars and you've got a small team you're doing three four maybe five deals a month not a big team to do that identifying that home run every month and not passing it down the street for a double assignment yeah. fee that you normally would get is the aha moment right yeah. we want people to say when you have invested in your infrastructure and your lead generation and your lead generation produces the home run don't hit a single with it that's right. Don't hit a single with your home run right. deal. Right, there you go. Yeah. Take the home run and hit the damn thing out of the park yeah. and send the singles and doubles down the street. Yeah, because here's the thing. In our industry today, there are so many fix and flippers and buy and hold investors. They want deals so badly. Their formulas are ridiculous, which is what, which would, what makes wholesaling so amazing today is you can... All right. So you all saw that clip right there. And man, I think that like Jerry is 100% on point. I think that y'all should definitely check out the entire podcast that he was on. I think it was called uh, the the Hard Truth or the Big Truths podcast, something like that or whatever. I'll, lock, I'll drop the link to the entire podcast that he did as well as his video that I'm showing you all right now. But I think that he made some really, really good points. Earlier in the podcast, he mentioned it's basically it's two ways to scale. You're either going to start getting more deals or you're going to um, get uh, bigger margins on those deals that you get or whatever. So I think it's a lot of game in this podcast, man. Definitely, definitely check it out. But I also have another podcast that I wanted to show you all as well. And it actually comes from Steve Trang, where he had um, another guy, I believe it was Nick Marietta, I want to say. Let's check it out. Yeah, Nick Marietta. I've got another clip right here that I want to show you all. Well, Nick Marietta, he, as you can see, the title says he scaled from one million to a hundred million in assets in 12 months. But he also talks about how he's running his multi-million dollar organization. And Jerry talked about keeping it lean and like getting those home run deals and getting wholesale deals. Well, this is very similar to basically what Nick is doing. It's really interesting, obviously on a much higher scale, but I wanted you all to be able to hear um, what Nick has to say in terms of how his business actually looks like. So let's get into it. Well, we have a Kansas City market. I think we did um, about 100 wholesales there and something like 50 or 70 flips. Mm -hmm. And then in Vegas, I think we turned like 30 flips ourselves. Wow. Okay. So uh, that's a really, well, how, what's, what's what I'm looking for? That's a lot of work involved. So what does your organization look like? support all of that 
Um, that's a that's a great question. And it's what does my organization look like today? And what does it need to look at? Or what does it need to look like in the next 90 days? Uh, that's a very skewed thing for me to to answer only for the fact that I probably need to answer it in the fact of what does it take to do 100 million? Or what does it take to do with, you know, 30 million in assets, mm -hmm. right? So currently right now, um, I'm, I'm basically the CEO, the owner, I run everything. I do all of I do all of the buys. I walk every single house, and then I do all of the construction just in the Las Vegas, California, uh, St. George, and Sedona markets. And then in our uh, KC market, we actually have a construction manager that handles it. So right now, if you were doing what I was doing before, you probably need uh, about seven people. That's what I have. Um, I have three acquisition people: two in Kansas City, one in Las Vegas. Uh, I have a TC in each place, so we're basically you know five people, and then I basically have a GM. In both in Kansas City, I have a GM, and then I'm basically the GM in the Vegas, you know, and the surrounding markets. So I run a really lean team, but I'm also probably one that pays two to three times more for the people that work for me. I like really high Scott or right really high skilled people that I don't have to do a lot of work with that make a lot of money and they're enticed by it and mm -hmm. they're very experienced. That's yeah. everybody goes, you pay way too much. I mean, like my acquisition guys in KC are making two fifty to three hundred a year. Mm. They're living like kings. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I could be paying them seventy or eighty and babysitting them, but yeah. I only go to Kansas City twice a year and I buy and sell one hundred fifty to two hundred homes a year. All right. Mm. So either I take my time or I pay for it. Right. Yeah. No, and I think that's something that Ryan and uh, Panetta and I have talked about, and even Casey Ryan, right? Like we've mm -hmm. talked about, like you got talented people and you overpay for them, right? But you also don't don't have to worry about turnover. Yep. You don't worry about managing them. You don't worry about replacing them, training them. Like there's a massive um, tax, like a missing that you don't notice every time you replace somebody, right? It, it I, and that's a big thing is a relationship takes you, at twelve months. All right, so <clears throat> man, y'all saw that clip right there as well. Let me uh, go back. Boom. All right, so y'all saw those couple clips, man. I wanted to to kind of give y'all those nuggets, man. I mean, I think when you put Jerry's video together with what Nick was talking about in terms of what his business looks like, you can just see that it's not very, very, very complicated to get from, you know, let's say doing a million dollars a year to doing significantly more or doing let's, 30, 40, 80 a year to doing that first million so y'all can kind of get a concept of like what it should look like how many deals should you be doing what should that flow look like um like what should your actual team look like things like that i think that that really really helps out a lot so i hope that y'all found that valuable now we're going to dive into the next topic though in this uh, particular podcast guys let's see what's the next topic on deck